So the review requester is honestly one of the most powerful tools within the Sellerize platform. It's awesome. Once you turn this thing on, it's not uncommon to easily see a 20% or more lift in the amount of reviews and ratings that you get for your Amazon brand. So by enacting this, you set it on an automated basis so that in real time as orders come in, using the criteria that you set out here in the dashboard, it will in perpetuity send these review requests out to customers, which is an amazing way to get reviews. So if you come down here, uh, this is a view that will show once you've actually got it plugged in, but to set it up, you go to here to set configurations. And there's a lot of customizations because you may not want review requests to go out to certain customers. And you may want to change the timing and sequencing of when your reviewers get requested. So this first one just uh, lets you send on orders with no feedback and with feedback. You could send it to only people that have given you feedback if you want, um, but a general setting that I like is just the uh, on with no feedback and with feedback. You can make it so that if someone's actually left you seller feedback on your account, but not product feedback, you can make sure that only positive reviews on your actual selling account get requested to review. So if somebody's left you say a one, two or three star review on your seller account and you don't wanna send a request on the product, this will automate that so you don't send those things out. The other thing is, is you can send it to repeat buyers or you can only send it to repeat buyers or if you want, you can send it to people that haven't bought from you before. I typically like to have repeat and non-repeat buyers but it gives you that optionality here. This will ignore orders with refunds. So if someone's bought it and they decided to submit a refund right after they got it, you obviously don't necessarily wanna send them feedback for a review because there's a reason why they, they've returned it and you, they may have some negative experiences. So you can uh, select that. I typically do ignore orders with refunds, but you can um, you can not ignore them if you don't care to. And then delayed after shipping, I think this one is really important and really powerful. I would say that if you've got a product that requires some setup or that can be confusing when people first get it, oftentimes if somebody has a negative experience and they want to return the product, they're going to do that within the first week or so. So despite the fact that Amazon lets us send as soon as three days after they've received the product, you may want to change that date range depending on the type of product that you've got. Additionally, say you're using or you're selling supplements or beauty or something that maybe takes a little bit of time for people to see whether or not they like it, you may want to push this out to 20 days if you want. Um, so this can all be automated here. It can also be automated at the product level, which is super cool. So you may have certain products that you want to change these settings on. Um, but one I like to do is um, for products that require a little bit more setup, I'll usually go to 10 days. And then if it's a supplement or beauty, uh, bumping it out to 14 days, just giving people a little bit of hands-on experience. Um, but I'll default to five days if I think it's kind of a run-of-the-mill product uh, and I want to get that review while the customer remembers the product, just received it, and you can kind of tap into that experience. You could also come in here to the uh, request time. So what time of day would you want this triggered? So there's an AI algorithm that will kind of figure out the best open rates that convert into uh, ratings for your brand. So you can keep that at AI. Or you can come down here and you can select certain periods of time. So you may want to send them out in the morning. You may want to send them out in the afternoon, evening, or literally as soon as you possibly can within Amazon's rules that they have set up. You can trigger that as well here. You can have a daily limit if you want to kind of throttle the amount that go out per day so that if you have like a really big high kind of sales on Thursdays and Fridays, you may want to kind of spread those out evenly so that you have even distribution. And then you can also request from the order date. So you can say a particular uh, period of time um, that you want this to initiate. So all cool things that you can automate within the system here. Um, and I love that flexibility, especially at the ASIN level. So you can come in here and do that. If you come down here to the bottom, um, there's gonna be uh, configurations again that you can kind of set or even turn off here at the ASIN level. I've got privacy mode enabled, so it's uh, clearing these products out, but you would see your actual photos of your product as well as the ASIN and product name here. And you'll have these different configurations that you can set up. Um, let's say that you had a, a batch of products that just turned out that you're getting a lot of negative reviews on them for whatever reason. You can come in here and toggle that off at any time. 
or if you want to kind of wait until there's been a little bit of a baking and you got some more reviews accumulating naturally before you turn it on, you can again turn these on or off here and it gives you that flexibility, which is super cool. So if you come in here, again, very similar to the view I just set at the portfolio level, you can set those custom ranges and features and settings within each ASIN as you'd like. And then it's got all your entire product uh, list here, which is fantastic. And then coming back up here to the dashboard, you can see on each individual day how many reviews were requested, so you can track that over time. And then you can also see your order list of all the orders that have come in for that particular account and that particular region. So that is the review requester feature.